Hey guys, thank you for joining me for my second pregnancy vlog video. This is the 28 week update. I thought every four weeks was kind of like a good chunk of time to update you with my pregnancy journey. Just enough time for more fun symptoms to come along and uh, for things to evolve. So 28 weeks marks the entrance of my third trimester. It's pretty crazy that I'm already done with first and second. I feel like that has just flown by. Um, and it's almost like clockwork. <laughs> My body has definitely started to feel the toll the pregnancy is taking on it. Second trimester, like I kind of said in my last video, I felt much better. There were, you know, still some less than fun symptoms that I was dealing with and stuff like that. But for the most part, I was feeling really great. They call it the honeymoon phase for a reason because your energy is back, you're not tired anymore. Uh, well, I wasn't anyway. I'm always just speaking for myself. Everyone has their own experience. But I wasn't tired at all. I had like a lot of energy actually and I was feeling really good about myself. I was exercising all of the time, um, which was amazing for my kind of like mental health as well as my physical health. But week 28 is here. I am definitely feeling it. I do not really have the energy to work out like I was. I was going on like, gosh, like at least four hikes a week. I was doing spin classes. I was doing bar method classes, um, doing prenatal yoga, which is like very low key. So I can definitely continue with that. But the hiking is getting really hard. Like I did it the other day and I was saying to my husband, you know, I have to go slow because I really felt like my legs were just cinder blocks. Like it was ridiculous how heavy, like they felt like they were made of concrete. Um, so every step I felt like I needed to really like put a lot of effort in to lift each leg and climb that hill. I am determined to stay fit and healthy, as fit and healthy as possible, but at the same time, I kind of got to listen to my body. Another fun symptom that trimester three has brought on for me like this, like so fast, is um, I'm like, these bad boys, my lovely swollen <laughs> feet and ankles. I don't know if it's the third trimester or the heat or what it was, but I looked down one day and it looked like someone had literally kind of like, like, <sighs> like inflated my feet and ankles. It was terrifying. My feet also really hurt. And by the end of the day, my heels are now really feeling a lot of kind of pressure on them. And I think it's from the additional weight that my body is not used to dealing with uh, to the point where when I wake up in the morning, I actually wake up with sore feet from the night before. It's almost like I've been like, I don't know, just jumping up and down on my heels or something all day because they get really, really, really sore. So I'm having to kind of like lay back, kick my feet up literally to uh, deal with the pain and discomfort that's starting to come. I started having lower back pain in my lower left side and it started to really shoot down into my butt and into my leg um, and give me a lot of grief on the flights to and from Toronto that we just took. It was really acting up. I was in so much pain, um, which like I said in one of my videos on Instagram, my doctor doesn't want me flying very much anymore because I haven't had like the smoothest, smoothest pregnancy, but I definitely don't want to either because it was just so painful to be on that, the uncomfortable seats on the plane. I think it's like sciatica, maybe. I don't know. I went to a chiropractor. That helped a little bit. He's great. He can only do so much obviously because I'm pregnant, but uh, that helped a little bit. But it hasn't alleviated the pain entirely. And by the end of the day, like I said, my feet are sore and now my lower back is sore on the left side. It kind of shoots down um, my hip area and everything. So I'm, I'm having to take it real light. I know I have like three more months of this uh, fun discomfort to cope with, but at the end of the three months, woo, baby arrives. So, you know, it's all worth it. Now that I'm in my third trimester, I'm also feeling baby move like nonstop. Um, in your second trimester, you're like, oh, I think I feel a kick or oh, I think that that might be her. Then you enter your third trimester and you're like, child, give me a break. <laughs> like, let me, let me watch TV in peace. 
She is like dancing up a storm there in my belly. Feeling your baby move is kind of the craziest thing ever because it's like a conversation that only you guys will ever get to share with one another. Speaking of weight gain, um, uh, this is, oh gosh, what am I even doing this to myself? This is gonna be a lot of controversy, I'm sure, amongst everybody out there. Everyone's gonna have an opinion. Listen, the weight gain for everybody is different during pregnancy. I know all of this. What I will say <laughs> is, doesn't matter what size you start at, to go up in weight as like extremely as you do in pregnancy is not something a lot of people talk about. I know actually like Blake Lively just posted about hitting her like post baby goal um, after putting on a lot of weight in her second pregnancy. I know Kim Kardashian has talked about putting on a lot of weight. So luckily there are people who are like addressing it and talking about it so you know what to kind of like brace yourself for. But with all of that said, it doesn't get any less shocking to see like how high that skill can climb. And you ask people, you know, like what is a healthy weight? What is a healthy weight? Like how much weight should I be gaining? Ba 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 ba, whatever. And everyone says it'll fall off afterwards. So don't even worry about it. You're growing a human. All good, for sure. But it's doing things to your body that weight gain. Like I said, my sore feet. I've definitely kind of like surpassed where my doctor had initially said she wanted me to kind of like reach weight gain wise and now she's telling me it's fine don't worry about it like you're all good but at the same time i'm like mm, well you said this before and now you're saying this now because i've blown right past that number and uh it's giving me anxiety i'm just putting that out there because i want to know if anybody else feels that same way. Like, I know you're growing a human and you shouldn't worry about something superficial like weight gain and all of that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I'm starting to definitely feel it. You know, I'm just feeling it all around. I'm feeling it physically. I'm getting tired. It's hard for me to hike up those hills that I'm so used to hiking. My feet are hurting from the impact and I'm, you know, just not loving the way that I'm, I'm feeling right now. So I wanted to put that out there and just be totally blunt and honest about it because I feel like a lot of people, I don't know, don't talk about it, I guess. They, talk, they love to talk about like weight gain after the baby's born, like that's okay, but talking about weight gain while you're pregnant is not okay for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so I'm talking about it because why not? When you're pregnant, as much as you want to like eat right and work out and all of that stuff, you don't have control because pregnancy affects everybody differently and you can't foresee how it is gonna affect your body. So you just kinda gotta roll with it and gotta make sure the baby's healthy because that's priority number one. But afterwards, when you get that little bit of like, okay, I'm, you know, I wanna fit into my mom jeans now, you know, or like, well, used to not be mom jeans, but now are mom jeans. How'd you do it? I, I wanna hear all of your stories. I wanna hear all of that good stuff from you guys. I watched this really funny video that Cardi B posted on her Instagram, and it was just her in a mirror talking about how, like, she didn't want to wear shoes anymore. She didn't want to talk to anybody anymore. If people did want to talk to her, then they better be talking to her about food because that's all she cared to talk about. <laughs> she even said at one point, she said something like, um, you know, I don't even want to look at people because I feel like that's an exercise for my eyes. <laughs> and I died. I'm kind of like right there with you, Cardi. Like I, the, the shoe thing, I don't want to wear shoes at all. Even like my Birkenstocks, which are like the comfiest, like lazy woman shoe to put on. I wear them every single day because I just can't be bothered to, um, you know, like lace up boots or wear anything with a heel or anything like that. Most of the time, generally pregnant or not, but even those are like tight on me now and they have buckles that adjust. It doesn't get any less weird, but it's normal. All of this is normal. And I think that's the important thing and why I'm so glad you guys enjoyed my first pregnancy vlog and encouraged me to keep doing them. Why I'm doing this one is, you know, because 
it's important that we know that like we're normal and you know i'm getting that kind of reassurance and comfort from all of you and your comments you know on the youtube page on instagram messages on my blog everything and you know i'm hoping i can provide that same kind of relief and comfort and reassurance to anyone who's watching who's like oh my god yeah i thought i was the only one who was worried about that or concerned about that or whatever so thank you so much again i know i keep saying it but it's because i'm really kind of astonished at how awesome and rad and supportive everybody has been throughout this entire pregnancy journey for me so thank you very much um, it doesn't go unnoticed and I really, really appreciate it. Now, symptoms aside, um, where I'm at in my pregnancy journey right now is planning and prepping for my baby shower. I'm really excited about that. When Josh and I got married, we did it out of town. We were in England, so we were around, you know, immediate family and then a few friends, but it was very small and being in LA for so long, even though our families can't make it, it's like exciting to be able to have a bunch of our friends come and celebrate Baby Girl Beach with us. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also mega in like nursery setup mode. I have gotten, can you like hear me right now? Sorry, pause. Another <laughs> symptom, whatever you want to call it that I'm dealing with. I get out of breath like this like doing nothing, it's ridiculous. Like sometimes I'm getting dressed and my husband's like, are you okay? I'm like, I know, I sound like I just finished an hour of cardio, <laughs> out of breath from talking right now. I'm sitting on a couch, I'm just talking and I'm out of breath. That's crazy. I'm excited about the nursery. And we are in the final stages of decorating it. I had this kind of like, big vision of what I wanted for the nursery. I wanted something that was like, I don't know, a little less baby and a little more cool and fun and different. And um, when I started pulling pieces together, I was getting really nervous that it was like too wacky and out there and not gonna make sense and work at all. And uh, now that we're kind of getting towards the final stages and just waiting on like the last few pieces to come in, I can see it all coming to life and it's totally working and I'm so excited. If you guys wanna see a nursery tour, then uh, definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will make sure that I do a video for you guys. I know I already mentioned my baby shower, but I did want to say that you guys should definitely stay tuned to my video next week because I will be doing a get ready with me video for my baby shower. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my hair and my makeup and what outfit I'm going to wear and everything for my baby shower. I'm also going to be doing a little IGTV video of baby shower footage while I'm there. So stay tuned for that on my Instagram and uh, let me know what is going on with you guys down below. I love the conversations that these videos are sparking with you and me as well as you guys with each other. Like seeing people interact and knowing that these videos have like ignited a dialogue between women out there who would never otherwise connect is like the coolest thing ever. I love it. We are all in this together and I so appreciate you guys being there for me. I hope you feel that I am there for you as well and I, uh, I'd love to hear what experiences you have had with pregnancy. If you're currently pregnant, what's going on with you, girl? How are you feeling? Um, and congratulations. So yeah, let's, let's keep chatting guys and I will post my next pregnancy vlog uh, for my 32 week update in four weeks.